Okay, and now we're doing um, positive and zero margin utility example, or an example where um, we're dealing with margin utility that's uh, positive margin utility, and then another situation with uh, zero margin utility. Um, okay, well, this is questions taken from Krugman Wells, Microeconomics, um, chapter 10, which is the rational consumer chapter, um, question two. So the question asks, uh, use the concept of margin utility to explain the following. Newspaper vending machines are designed so that once you have paid for one paper, you could uh, take more than one paper at a time. But soda vending machines are designed such that once you've paid for one soda, um, the dispenser only gives one soda at a time. Um, first off, for the newspaper vending machines, I'm not sure if you've seen these. I think they're less and less com common now with the popularity of you know, the internet. Um, so... So these are machines where you know you put in 25 cents and then you open up the store and then sitting there is a stack of newspapers and you know conceivably you could take the entire stack um, and you know newspaper vending machines pretty much have never been such that you could only take one at a time. Where soda dispensers are pretty probably pretty familiar where you put in some money and then it spits out at the bottom uh, an ice cold soda. So the idea here is that with newspapers, newspapers exhibit pretty close to zero margin utility. So beyond, you know, the, the first newspaper you grab, there's some utility, but beyond that, there's no additional uh, utility from, you know, grabbing an extra paper. So the first paper, you get some value by reading it, uh, having it, like in the comics, what have you. However, the second isn't likely to give you much extra value. There's no real reason to read the same article twice. Uh, you know, newspapers usually aren't collectibles or anything like that. So the margin utility of the second newspaper, uh, the third and the fourth, is pretty close to zero. So this means that once you open that newspaper vending machine door, you are unlikely to take more than one newspaper because, you know, the additional value of that is very small. Um, so soda is a bit different. So soda, we can assume, has a positive marginal utility. Since uh, once you have one soda, uh, there is likely to be some additional value from drinking, you know, additional soda. Um, so this means if, you know, the machine allowed you to grab more than one soda at a time uh, for the price of one, then you likely would. So the, the, the soda machines are designed, uh, you know, to allow you to only take one at a time. Um, so then the question is, well, why don't newspaper dispensers do a one-shot dispenser? So there's likely a higher cost to the soda machine dispensers. You know, first off, the refrigeration. Second off, they have to put them in little individual compartments so that when you pay for one, it only releases one at a time. So given the choice, you know, a newspaper seller is going to go with the lower cost machine, which is the machine where it's you put in a quarter, you open up the door, and just lower cost. Um, yeah, lastly... I don't know if this question reminds me of this Super Bowl commercial I saw a few years ago. I think it was a Budweiser commercial where um, I think the question asks, you know, why don't they sell, you know, beers like in newspaper vending machines? I'll see if I can find it. I'll post it here. Uh, That's a pretty simple question. Hopefully that was helpful. Have a good day. Bye.